Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to change the resolution of your iPhone. So before we start, you're going to need to be jailbroken and have Cydia on your iOS 8 device. Uh, once you have all that set, you have to go into Cydia and go into Sources. The source that we're going to be using isn't on Cydia, so you're going to have to add it manually. So the next thing you're going to do is tap Edit, go to Add, and in here you're going to type in repo dot B D four five two dot com and tap on add source. Once it verifies, it's going to install and then now we return to Cydia and you'll see the new repo. It is called BD four five two beta repo. And here we're gonna find the tweak and the tweak is called upscale. So we're gonna go into it, tap on this, go to install, confirm, and wait for it to load. Once it installs, you're gonna to want to tap on restart springboard. Okay, now we're booted back up, so the next step is to go into settings, scroll all the way down, and go to upscale. Here you can change the resolution. You'll have presets for the 4 and the 4S, the 5 and the 5S, the 6 and the 6 Plus. Since I have the iPhone 6, I want the resolution for the iPhone 6 Plus, so I'm going to tap on 6 Plus. And now you can see that you have more real estate. The icons are a tiny bit smaller. If we go into settings, you'll see that everything's a little bit smaller. And the best thing about having the iPhone 6 Plus resolution on the iPhone 6 is that if you turn it, we can go into landscape mode on the home screen, which is something that's exclusive only to the iPhone 6 Plus. So it doesn't matter what phone you have. If you have an iPhone 5S, you can get the iPhone 6 resolution on it. And we're gonna go back to the settings now. And so let's say you want your own resolution, so you can enter something like 850. Uh, this is only for the iPhone 6 and 1511. Um, when you're done, go back to X, make sure that the uh, cursor is on X, and then put apply. And it'll tell you here the resolution change will be displayed at that, so you press OK. And the icons will be a little bit bigger than they were before, but they're smaller than the uh, regular iPhone 6 resolution. So you can mess around with that and see uh, whatever works best for you. But be careful with this because if you put the large number in X and the small number in Y and press apply, you can mess everything up. So be really careful if you're doing a custom one. But for now, the iPhone 6 one works really well on the iPhone 6. And yeah, like I said, there's more real estate. The icons aren't too small. And the best thing about it is the landscape mode. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.